What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and today we're going to be doing zombie mission number 10 when fungi attack. Oh no, so this is probably going to be a mushroom cap one, right? Oh, it is, which is really cool because we've only seen this character in action once, so very, very interesting. So it looks like they're somewhere like China or something and oh my, it is Nightcap bat like sort of showing all the other plants how to battle. That's so cute. And he's like, oh no, an enemy. So like, you can see on the bottom, that's actually a hat. It's not like a part of his head, which is sort of weird, but we're just gonna keep on moving on and act like we didn't see that or something. <laughs> that is just so weird. All right then, well, either way, we do have a few quests for us today. We have Win 2 Games or Rust Bowl, Win 2 Games is ZMAX. So we're gonna get started with that. Of course, we're going to change over to Rust Bowl. It's right over here. Oh, come on now, there you go. And we're just gonna auto build our team. I really don't see a reason not to auto build at this point. It usually is, you know, the best case scenario most of the time. Unless you have like a super special build you have going on, but usually they don't come around too often. But either way, let's get started. Ooh, okay, the game's given up on me. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on, stop lagging. Okay, so we're all in here. I love how Poofin like a ninja, he's just such a cool dude. All right, hmm. What can I do about all this? Hmm. I figured we'll reroll this and that. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Okay, let's just do that before we further cement ourselves into the ground here. I mean, that's not a too bad start, I'd say. Ooh, what is that? Okay, that is make a random zombie that costs two brains. Okay, we'll make this work. I'm gonna put this there. And that's always a good starting card, because it's 1-3. Oh my, but he has basically the polar opposite. The poison mushroom anti-hero 2 zombie heroes don't like him. Not one bit. Don't care who knows it either. Okay. All right, let's get started with this. It's not a perfect start, but hey, we'll do one damage to him. He'll do three damage to us. Sort of hurts, yeah, but it'll be okay. I make a random zombie that costs two. So that cost one, so I could put you here, and then we'll put something in front of him with that. All right, no, come on! Oh, that stinks. All right, let's just put something here, though. Put something in that lane, whatever it'll be. Oh, that's actually not bad. When you play another pet, all pets get plus one. So do we have another pet zombie right now? Not currently, but um, let's go ahead and try this. We'll do one damage to him, he'll do one damage to us. So he's still in the lead towards damage so far. This looks like it might be a tough game. Hmm. All right. Hmm. What can we do now? We could just play the pool zombie here. Then we have enough for you. So overall, we have some uh, map dominance right now. Oh, we're gonna do three damage, okay. And if that's how you wanna deal with it, that's fine with me, but it looks like, ooh, we're gonna be able to hit him hard here. So it looks like we're turning this around pretty well here. This is gonna be uh, six damage in total. He's only gonna be able to do one. I think Nightcap is a heen. It seems like it, right? So, I mean, it also has like the eyeliner there. I'm not really sure. I mean, not to say that only guy or girls can wear eyeliner, but hmm, ooh, that guy's cool. I remember him, but he doesn't have any mushrooms to buff. So that's not gonna help him too much. It would be cool if he like, could buff Nightcap, but I'm glad he doesn't for this current scenario. He gets it, the shield there. But we'll be able to do two damage to him. If we could get another plant, uh, not plant zombie, <laughs> a pet zombie soon, that'd be great. Hmm. Ah, how about I do this? I'll go ahead and put you here. I really don't care about the pea shooter. I'm just gonna do that to guarantee myself an extra bit of damage, and we're really moving in on him now at this point. All right, then. So, boom, do two damage there. Do one more damage there. We will lose our snake zombie, but that's okay. Hmm. All right, that's all good. That's all good. I don't really mind that. Okay, hmm, so this is pretty good. This is just armor too. It doesn't actually have anything special about it. All right, then I'll take it. Let's go ahead and try that and see what happens here. Hmm, okay, fight. Let's do two damage there. The shield's gonna activate, but I'd rather activate there than any other place. The cool, ooh, what does this make a 1-1 one, one poison mushroom with up to anti-hero two? Oh mine. So this is what we ran into earlier, and luckily, the pea shooters can't actually damage my little buddy there, so. Works out pretty well for me. I'll go ahead and throw out this guy just so I can heal myself, and then I'll go ahead and um finish him off. There's no way we can't beat him here. He's already, oh, oh no, okay, I thought his turn went by already. All right, well we won't, oh wait, 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 no, I could've, but then I didn't realize. Dang it, oh well, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, because we still have plenty of zombies to use here. And boom, take care of that dude. And we still have 17 health. He only has two, so. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead, put you there. 
And then let's see what his move is. Ah, okay. Not a bad deal at all. Let's go ahead, move you here, and then I'll even destroy one of you guys just for, you know, good balance. So let's go ahead, boop, and then let's get started with this round. Should be able to uh, take him out here. Let's see, fight. Boom, take you out, and then one damage there, and finish him off. There you go, the first game is won. So far, we are one to zero when it comes to wins to losses. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him hiding behind his scarf. So cute. I really want to unlock Nightcap. That'd be so cool. But for now, we got some Rust Bolt games. And we gotta win one more. Shouldn't be that bad. All right, then let's get started with game number two. Before, let's see, Brute Strength. It's not against plus three. I haven't seen that card before, I don't think. So I wanna go take that right now. And let's keep moving on. Green Shadow versus Rust Bolt. Rust Bolt's pack. <laughs> that always looks so weird. I wish I wouldn't do that. But at the same time, I sort of get it. So, hmm. All right, so it is Green Shadow, though. We've seen Green Shadow before, so this shouldn't be too bad. Green Shadow is the first hero you play as, so she's pretty darn cool. Let's reroll that, 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 and basically everything. No, I didn't want to see it. Just wondering, ooh, okay. This is a good start. I'll hold on to all that. That's actually not a good, I mean, not a bad first few turns there. So I think we'll start off with this guy. Just throwing him out there. That way he can have some good damage up here. Because it's going to be a 3-2, which is a really good turn one. Especially if she doesn't have anything. She does have something, but it honestly isn't that great. We can put a cone head in front of that and really deal with it pretty well. We're doing three damage, taking one. It's basically the opposite of the start of the last game. So that's pretty cool. I want to put you here. I don't know. Instead, maybe I should do this and see what happens when I do that. Let's see what we can work out here. All right. So, oh, no. Now I have to move her, though. That's sort of a shame. I thought that he was she was going to play something else so that we can move in. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> It's okay, we'll make it work. Just deal, you know, the three damage we need there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll find a way to make this work. It's okay. Ooh, that is four damage or more, so we don't really want to use that now. I'll put you here, and then we'll go ahead and play this in our trick phase. We should get a good lane, you know, a good set of things going on there. Uh, see, he was, she was trying to combo up with the, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The chitty pepper here. Didn't really work out for her, though. All right. Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right then, so there's three damage. I'm gonna get the mega charge, so really? <laughs> All right, well luckily we're taking a huge lead here though, because we've only taken one damage. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Hmm, so I've been wanting to think about one thing. What would you guys think is the possibility of seeing PvZ heroes characters make their way to Garden Warfare 2? Now I know of course some of them make sense, like a green shadow class for pea shooter seems like it would make sense, and for like solar flare, that'd be really, really cool. At the same time, it's like there's already the fire flower for Garden Warfare 2. So maybe some PvZ heroes, heroes? might not be that great for Garden Warfare 2, but some of them would be really cool. Imagine having a Rust Bolt variant of the soldier. Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, it's like the superhero on Heroes this is the same exact character as the superheroes, uh, you know, super brains on God of War for two, so it's like we don't have to worry about that too much, but you get the idea. Obviously, some classes it would work for, and some classes it wouldn't. It would be cool if there was an imp that instead of having a mech, it has the smash, because if you know the smash has an imp on his back, wouldn't it be really cool that instead of just having a mech, he just brings in his smash friend? Wouldn't that be super awesome? I think it would be. And it would be like different. It would be like controlling a gargantuar. That would be so cool. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I mean, I'm just going on about something nobody wants, but I think that'd be really awesome. I mean, yeah, I think there's uh, some cool ideas here for what could be and what couldn't be in Garden Warfare 2, and vice versa. I mean, maybe we could see some Garden Warfare 2 related stuff moving the way over to heroes, but we already see that quite often, anyways. So, hmm. I mean, like there's a Z mech in here and everything, so. Hmm, well, this is a little scary, but we should be able to handle it. Take care of you. Uh, ooh, not quite, okay. Everybody's sort of buffed up right now. But we are still doing good damage to her, and she still needs to do a little bit before she gets us taken down. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put this out just because it's a free takedown, then I'll put you out there because just that's another takedown I can get there. Uh, that should be a good combo of damage here. We're not letting her have any leads right now. What is this again? This is the repeat moss. When you play a trick, this is a bonus attack. Well, she doesn't seem to currently have a trick, but I think she's just playing that defensively, just so that she has something on the field. By the way, we'll do two damage there, and be able to damage that thing a little bit. And then boom, down to four health. So far, it looks like this might be our second win tier for the day, which will be cool. Hmm. 
All right, so I can heal somebody. Might as well heal you. I don't know why I threw him out. I probably should have thrown out the other one, but whatever. Okay, then. Yeah, let's figure this out really quick. Let's go ahead. I think oh, we can't win this round, but I don't think the uh, shield charge is going to get in our way here. Oh, we might. It just might. Oh, there it goes. All right, but that's all the shield charge she can get. She's ran out. Oh, my. She's really going to do that with a cone head? I bet that's a waste, but whatever. <laughs> Even the bonus attack didn't hit me, so. Hmm. I want to put this here because I don't want to waste anything else. I mean, we only have to do two damage. Chances are we're going to be able to get something. Ooh, bounce around him, zombie. What's going to happen? Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. There's another bonus. Ah, that's actually a good move, but it looks like we've won either way. We just threw some toilet paper. I think there were actually bandages, but either way, we win that round. So there are two wins as Rust Bolt, which is pretty cool. All right, I'll take that. And now we gotta win two games. So we won't be doing that today. We need to win two games with somebody else. Uh, I can't remember at this moment, but we're gonna try that because I do believe we have the hero that we need for that quest. So let's see what happens. See, it looks like they're all fighting. And oh my, <laughs> the plants are attacking the zombies. Who would've thought? Oh my, look at all those poison streams attacking that. Uh, what's his name? Professor Brainstorm. <laughs> cool stuff. All right then, so let's see what our next quest is. It is to get two games, one is the Z-Mech, which of course we do have the Z-Mech, right? Yeah, of course we do. I don't think you can get a quest for a character you don't have, but either way, looks pretty cool to me, so why don't we go ahead and get started with him? All right, so we're going against Nightcap for the second time now. Now with the Z-Mech, can we get two wins in a row, just like we did the Rust Bolt? All right then, I'm not sure what this card does again. Let's see this really quick. This is to terrify, move a plant, gain a teammate. We got some interesting stuff going on here. It's like not a horrible start, but not perfect. That's not any better. Hmm. We'll work with it, see what happens. I mean, maybe, ooh, what is this right here? This is, as I'm guess, a lot of health-based stuff. I guess, I mean, the Z-Mech is sort of kind of like a tank kind of character. And I mean, we fought the Z-Mech pretty early on, on the, you know, plant mission. So and we had a hard time with him from what I remember. It was a tough one to go against, but, hmm. I mean, and, and I'm continuing my conversation from earlier. There's a lot of PBZ heroes, heroes that are already in God of Warfare 2 as just normal classes. The Citron, the Rose, the Mech, the Super Brains. They're all already God of Warfare 2 classes. But that, that makes it even more sense. Okay, can we move a plant game a teammate? Because I don't really have anything going for me right now. All right, let's move you. Ooh, spooky. And we'll be able to play that next turn, which is actually pretty good. A bucket is actually a really nice class to have. All right, so plus five health is so much for one. For one brain, that is so much. I will right, we'll put him there. Nothing is gonna be able to touch that dude. Oh my, what is that thing? Punish room. When a mushroom is destroyed, do two damage to a random zombie or zombie hero. Wow. That is a little scary right now, both in looks and in just what he does. All right, so we're not gonna take any damage there, luckily enough. But I get a double charge there too. Hmm. Let's move you. I don't know. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's put you there. Now I'm gonna wait for my tricks phase. I could, you know, put out something else there, but instead I want to heal up both of these guys. All zo oh, that's all zombies get plus two. Wow. Okay. Hmm. All right, you're gonna. Add Ooh. Okay. Okay. Calm it down. Calm it down. I'm gonna move you over here, and we're gonna deal with whoever we can here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna give you that boost. I'm gonna give you a little boost with this one, too. It's gonna give both of them. That is crazy, though. We're 210 armored zombie. Two damage or not, we can eventually boost his health up, I think. So that's not what I'm afraid of, but... All right. Oh, my. A little scary here, but we'll make it work. Indeed, we will. Hmm. So I could even throw this guy out right here. I could heal myself up. I could heal a few other people up. Let's go ahead and heal him. I'm just gonna make him as strong as possible. And we have enough for that. We don't have any tricks right now. We might as well play it. Okay, this is what's gonna do us some good here. Hmm. All right. All right, throw that fishies over there. Boom. Bam. Oh my, whoa. Okay. <laughs> calm it down, calm it down. Okay, this a little on the bad side. Hmm. All right, so we could do this though. We could actually throw out this dude right here. He has armor too, so 
very good things right now. All plants get plus two. Honestly, that's not very scary at all. We want to take care of that pea shooter. Does he really have no other card? Wow. We're going to be able to wet the floor with him this turn. Do two damage there and do another five there. And can we land this one? Huh? Okay, we can. Cool. We haven't gotten a shield charge in a long time. Well, not at all this episode so far. Anyways, let's see. All zombies get. Ooh. You bet. Yeah, let's go ahead and go that one. There you go, that's a total of six bonus damage if you don't even include the orchestrated zombie. But, um, boom, that's gonna be the shield, that's fine, because we're gonna nearly one-shot him right, oh, he got the mega charge! All plants get one, one, that's not too scary. It's gonna be a two, two versus a two, two, it's all gonna be evened out. I can't believe he got the mega charge right after his other charge there. Oh, he's so cute, look at him. He's quaking in his little boots that he doesn't have. All right, let me just heal myself up here. Let's get myself back up to 20. We are good to go. The z Mac is definitely a tankier quest, which seems to work out really well against um, Nightcap here. Boom, take that out. Not a problem whatsoever. We win yet another game, three in a row so far, and we didn't lose any last episode either, so that means we're technically eight wins in a row. I mean, if we, we take the episode before that, I think we like won the boss fight. We, like, we lost it once, and then we won it once. So probably like nine games in a row, we've won on the series so far. I'm not keeping like official track, but I, I know it's at least eight, because we definitely didn't lose any last episode. Starting then, we got a cool streak going on. Can we make it nine? Can we go all the way through this game too? Of course, this episode, uh, winning. No losing at all, but we're going against Wall Knight, so this actually might be a tough, you know, tough battle, because we're probably pretty even here. Hmm. Well, we're gonna find out together. Um, hmm. Because, of course, Wall Knight is pretty darn defensive. Hmm. Let me reroll the chickens for sure. Let me reroll that, because I only need one of those. Ah. Oh. oh, no. Okay. I might have to keep this. Let's see. I might just have to keep with this setup. This gets 1 1 when you play a zombie, which is a really good zombie. The thing is that I can't risk rerolling that newspaper zombie and it end up being something that costs more than one or two brains. So for right now, I'm gonna keep with that. And hopefully we get lucky with our draw. What is that? That is heal your hero for six. So that won't help us right now. Hopefully he does not take that out, because if so, ooh, lucky us, because that will be very, very good, because now we can damage him for one. But really, it's all about having that zombie out for the long run. Now we can put out the newspaper zombie. And let's see what he does about that. Ooh, he does. Nothing? He does nothing. Interesting. He is playing it slow so far, and that's gonna be a big deal for him. The slower he plays it here, the more damage I can do. All right, so here I'm actually just gonna throw this guy out. Well, might as well, right? Like, what is he even gonna do about this? Anything? Is he just gonna not play anything the entire game? Like, what's going on right now? Okay, he throws out um just some walnuts and stuff the uh, mix nuts, which is not really gonna do too much for him when I'm gonna be dealing this much damage. He's gonna do two damage to me here. I'm gonna do six to him. He's gonna get a charge here, not a big deal. And then, let's see, your hero shielded this turn, get a teammate. Oh, and he will play it just to guard himself from three damage. Do what you want, buddy, that's fine with me. The more that you don't bother with this, you know, party zombie thing, the more it's gonna be good for me. So I'm actually gonna put this orchestrated zombie right here just because it's going to take care of the mixed nuts. Orchestra, orchestra zombie, not orchestrated. But, um, and then we get another boost on him. That's like a game changer right here. This is the, the quickest game ever. We are destroying him. I'm waiting for him to like play like 10 cards at once. Like he has like this incredible hand. He's just building up and he's gonna destroy me when he has like one health. He's gonna play that guy. Now, what is what is going on with him? One play this gives plus one attack for each shun made this turn. That's a little scary. Oh, that's enough to take him out. That's saddening. We've been working all game on building him up, but that's okay. It's only been three turns or whatever. All right. Take everybody out, though. We're going to lose him, unfortunately, but we are the ones in the field left with more than he has, so now we can set up a crazy bit of stuff here. And why don't I go ahead and put that out? I could put up the orchestrator zombie, orchestra zombie, and get extra damage, but right now, I have all the damage I need. It's about landing him. Hmm. Oh, he's laughing away. That Z Mac wall. Wall Knight just sits here like, hmm. What should I do with my 7,000 cards? Maybe play with them. I don't know. Hmm. He just, he takes his time now. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. I would take my time too if I was in this situation, but 
at the same time. Come on, man, hurry up. All right, so he only here for six. I don't need to do that. We're just gonna land that four damage. Unfortunately, he's starting to play rough, but at the same time, we're able to take out anything he throws at us, so. There it goes. Ooh, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> All right, then. Not bad, not bad. We'll go ahead and we'll play this, and we'll just go for it. I think we'll be able to take him down here. Let's see. Unless we play, if you play something in front of the tennis zombie, then we won't, but let's see if he's that smart. I would, I would have to assume that he is, because it's a pretty easy fix. There you go. He, he has a lot of these. Upon the shield of this turn, gain a teammate. Interesting. All right, if that's what he wants to do. I'm gonna go ahead and, no, I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. All right, we're gonna not be able to take him out because of that, but, oh, geez, like I said, is he gonna turn this around at one health? We'll have to find out. We'll get another one of those. All right, then, let's go ahead, put this here, put that there, and go for it. He's gonna be able to do six damage to me. I'm absolutely not worried because we can heal for six. We just need to land one hit on him. And if he, I mean, he might have the cards to block me off here. And if so, that's scary, but we have some things to make it work. Oh no, we got ourselves the water chestnut with his angry looking mustache. It's so intimidating. All right, is he gonna, oh, he will play something there. Hmm. All right, come on now, buddy. Hurry it up. I'm not gonna play that just yet, don't need to. So it's gonna deal six damage here. I'll take it out this turn if I actually get a zombie to use. But it's like, obviously I'm taking care of him faster than he's taking care of me. All right, so ooh, that is good. It does make a one-on-one -on -one backup dancer, but I don't think it has, you know. Oh, okay, well at least boost him a little bit here. But it doesn't have, of course, team up, so I can't use it anyway, so whatever works. But either way, we'll be able to take care of that little grass dude, unless he has another shield for it. Oh, he just has that. What else he got? That all you got, man? Because you need a little more. You need one more plant. As soon as you do, I'm just gonna heal, but ooh, I could heal myself up, or I could do some, oh, really? Massive damage, I wanna do massive damage here, but, all right, let's go for it. Boom, everybody's gonna start break dancing. All right, wow, out of nowhere, like I said, this is what makes him so scary against the Z-Mech. He's really proven that here. All right, we're gonna run out of some things here pretty soon, but, I'll just go ahead and put that there just because I have nothing else. Gabe, don't do this to me. Don't prove me right. Please don't prove me right. Oh my gosh. Okay, now he's spent all of his cards except for one. Let's go ahead and heal myself up though. We just need to do that one damage. We're gonna hold on. We are going to hold on to the bitter, bitter end. I guarantee you. Ooh, that was tough there though. Ooh, Ooh what does this do? Do two damage to each plant. I'm going to play that. And we're gonna do okay. Ge oh. Don't heal that. I need that to not be healed. All right, so it depends. If he plays something, yes, yes, we win. We win unless he gets a mega charge. Look at this, gonna get rid of that, 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 and that. Cool. Very awesome. Let's go ahead and finish this game. You can't beat me, well, now you got close. You tried to go with what I predicted, but it didn't work out for you. We win this round. <laughs> I love that peace sign he gives. He's like, yeah, I win. All right, so there's two games as the Z-Mech won. Will we get any new missions there? I don't think we will, but the Fume Shroom or Flourish, we're gonna have to go with the Fume Shroom. And yeah, let's go ahead and go to our last battle of the day. The Z-Mech has been working out really well when it comes to going against Nightcap, like he did in the last one. We got all the, you know, the zombie missions I can do right now, so we might as well just go ahead and go for this. What are we going to see here? Hmm. All right then, let's refresh that. Uh, whew. Maybe I'll just hold on to all this. Maybe I just will. Maybe that was a bad idea, maybe it was a great idea. We'll find out together right here during the boss battle. Beware the fungus effect. Nightcap and your hero start with minus five health. Wow, okay. Well, I think I can work with that a little better than he does is the thing. I think I can, oh, and he doesn't have anything to start off really. You don't want that when you only start with 15 health. I can tell you that much. Those small games matter so much with only 15 health. So this is, on the start of the term, all dancing zombies get plus two. So if he doesn't have anything to take her out, she's gonna get plus two every turn. Well, he has that. So, hmm. All right, then we can make this work, actually. Look, look, this will survive to the next turn. Because boom, we can smack it like that. 
it's gonna lose two health, but we're gonna be able to give it plus two health. So unless it buffs its health here in a few moments, we should be good. Look at him, <laughs> she is just going for it. Hmm. I can't play that just yet, but that's okay. Cause I can do that. Hmm. Can I use my heal my hair for six to get myself back up to 20 health? Maybe, oh no! Darn it, he did what, exactly what I said I, he needed to not do. All right, let's go and buff everybody's health though. Yep, go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, luckily it'll be a one for one. Yeah, it'll be a one for one, that's fine. Now he's actually taking the lead with damage right now, but we will have our cuckoo zombie here and that'll be helpful. All right. Let's deal with this as good as we can, really. I'm gonna throw that out there and give my other zombies a little bit of a buff here. What is he gonna play, though? Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, that that's gonna hurt. That's gonna get rid of that zombie. Oh, no, stop with this. Okay, he's actually playing really well here. I mean, I should expect no less. It is a boss fight. So, Bulmer gonna be able to do three damage there. We are taking the lead with damage, but at this rate, not for long. We'll be able to take care of one puff shroom, but... That's all we can do. I'm gonna have to throw out that in a moment, I think. I mean, I might not have to. No matter what, like if I could throw this out right here and get a backup dancer right there, and, and this, oh, I should have done that the other way around. That was my mistake. Oh, like, just full, full on my mistake. Hmm. Oh no, not that guy again. Oh, this is gonna damage me. Cause that guy will damage me every time I damage a mushroom. Do one to, hey, I need that. Come on now, game. Yikes. All right, well, I'm gonna have to use this next turn. I'm gonna have to use this next turn. We're gonna have to just not care so much about our zombies and just care about taking care of those plants. Those annoying little plants. All right, then. I'm gonna play you here. It doesn't really matter too much. I just, the right now, what matters so much is the trick phase. Oh, please. No, really, dude? All right, deal two damage to each plant. You guys asked for it, so look at all that. You get rid of all of your plants. I'm gonna heal myself up for six, get myself back up to 10 health, keeping me just barely in the lead and getting a little bit farther in the lead now, now smacking him with that. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Let's throw this out, not because it'll really help me too much, but because it'll boost up that party zombie. Oh my, what is that? That is the Grapes of Wrath. One destroy, do six damage to the zombie hero. I've never seen that before. I have never, that's a tough card. Just throw that out at the end of the game and wow. It's just like very scary. Oh, yikes. What can I do about that? I just, I wanna avoid it. I wanna just try avoid, oh, okay. Yeah, you do that, buddy. I'm just gonna give you two one. I can handle that. All right, boom. Do three more damage here. Please let this activate the shield. Please, 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 yes, a double charge. What will it be? It'll be attack, two damage, and three random lanes, which means I have one if he does not get a shield activation. Yes, there you go. Another day with non-stop wins, lucky or not. That was a pretty lucky card he had, so it's a balance anyways, and card games are usually about luck anyways. Luck in the draw, as they say. But for right now, we have one, and that's all that I'm gonna worry about myself. Get the wizard gargantuar here. I'm so glad we won that. <laughs> All right, so it looks like, oh my, he uses a saute? Oh my gosh, poor Nightcap and all of his buddies there. <laughs> well, we win, we take out another baddie. All right, cool stuff. But for now, that will be it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Mushroom so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.